Hi guys, it's your girl Belinda up in her kitchen. What's up, mi gente? It's your girl, cooking queen, queen cooking. I am doing those pasteles today. So yes, I had a great run this morning and um, I'm ready to get down with those, those pasteles, pasteles. <laughs> anyway, okay guys, so like I said, I had a long morning, kiddos, wifey thing, everything, you guys already know. All my mujer is out there. You know how it is when you have family. It's very busy. It's rough. It's tough. And it's all that stuff. <laughs> all right, guys. So I just want to show you. I'm on my way to get my daughter from school because I am picking her up. But I want to, before I uh, flavor up my uh, beef and um, ham that I'm putting into my pasteles, I want to show you all the ingredients that I have. Okay. I'm going to show you everything in my kitchen. And then this gal got to go pick up my daughter, grab a few things, come home. It's the weekend. It's chillax time for me and my king. Yes. <laughs> all right, guys. So, um, so I just want to say thank you to all my gente out there, my subscribers, my, my, uh, TikTokers, all you guys that support me. I love you guys so much. You guys have been so dedicated to watching me, um, you know, to just, you know, show me love and, um, you know, just the comments, everything. I can't thank you enough. Now, I, I don't have time to get onto the comments, and that's why I always do shout-outs if you check out my old YouTube channel or the beginning of this YouTube channel, my new YouTube channel, which is this one now. Um, you will see I do not comment back, so I always give out shout-outs in my videos because, um, you know, of course, busy mom. I used to do that in the, in the beginning when I first got my first YouTube channel together. But then after a while, you know, like I said, I just started doing it straight through my video. I think it's more personal when I do it through my video and show my love to you guys and show you guys that how much I, I honestly uh, love you guys so very much for being on my channel, for supporting me, for giving me all that love and support. It means so, so much. Because, you know, those girls almost on our way to get that food truck for next summer so that is guaranteed without a doubt so i'm super excited i'm still looking around like i said it's been really really hard but like like just like how we got this house it wasn't easy same thing with my food truck it's not easy so let's get to it okay guys so here you see all my simple ingredients that i am putting into my delicious filling now my filling is jamón picao boneless jamón picao um and also my beef so i have all those things going on okay over here so i have my potatoes you already know all the potatoes that go into the pasteles uh, when you do your masa so i've done so many different ways of pasteles i've done the guineo um, t I flip flopped. I had the guineo actually the out of the masa uh, uh, tasting like a sweet plantain, uh, sweet banana, excuse me on that. So I've done so many things. If you check out all my uploads on my old YouTube channel, you'll see how I've gotten down in my kitchen with these bad boys. And so, you know, it's always something different in my kitchen. So, um, but, uh, for, for this, um, you know, uh, batch that i'm doing i am going to do just a regular uh pastel okay keep saying pastelio don't i <laughs> i do a lot of those too but anyway so um yeah pasteles so we are going to just add in the the original ingredients from my island to yours that i put into the to, to my beef and to my um jamon i always put jamon into my pasteles of course i know some people everybody does it different from you know every island out there puerto rico worldwide we all have our own flavors and do our own thing in our kitchen depending how we were raised through our parents and stuff like that so that's where i come in with my ingredients okay all right so i have cappers mixed with olives and cappers are these and i put these in my masa all this stuff i put in my masa as well so it's a double dip back and forth Okay, I have my sofrito, my um, achote. I have my 10X flavor. One of my favorite things I put in my special beans that I have a receta that I, my dad put for me um, years ago when we were kids. He made the best beans with this stuff and I've been using that on a lot of stuff in my kitchen as well. Um, only on certain um, uh, things though. Um, I don't use it all the time. It has great big flavor, but I do use it. 
Um, this is uh, the garlic, smashed garlic. I have a cup of that. So all this is going to be flip-flop into this and into my delicious uh, uh, masa as well. So, um, so yeah, so this is the 10X flavor, delicious flavor of cilantro. So this is the cousin. Call it the cousin. Okay, a lot of people use this. It's so cheap in the grocery store. So check that out into uh, soup, beans. Um, I'm known for this in my beans. Um, uh, your local grocery store. You guys know where to get down um, to find all this stuff. Bodegas are the best place to get all this stuff. But however, um, yeah, so here we have it, guys. And I'm going to swing around. And boom, my tripod finally. Finally. Finally got my tripod here. So we plan on using this today, okay? Because I've had this tripod for four years. No, longer than that. For my first, first YouTube channel. This is the first thing and I, the only thing that I got. So I haven't used it since we moved here because of all the working on the ceiling in the kitchen. We still have the flooring that we're doing. Um, you might see some of this going on. We have a lot of stuff still going on in our kitchen, and that's why I haven't used my tripod. But you know what? I'm going to need it today, so we're going to go ahead and use it just a little bit, just so I can free my hands. Um, so we have the banana leaves. We have my green bananas. Everything's ready to go. My paper. Um, so I am doing leaf and paper. Okay, guys? All right, so I got to go get my daughter before she gets nod <laughs> she's too spoiled all right guys so there you have it all my ingredients here and we're gonna get down i'm so grateful to do this again um you know for me gente from my um subscribers out there my tiktokers my family my friends all those who support me i'm so glad to get down and do these and sell them out there and show you all the love that i want to give back as well um, just for you guys always being there for me as well so and um, I do make them very big and again I appreciate all the love and support um, that you guys give me I couldn't be more grateful in this world to have you guys have my back like this so from my island to yours watch out your girls coming again okay guys so before I step out to pick up my lovely daughter I am going to put all these ingredients in here because I want to make sure all my flavors sit for about a whole hour before I even start cooking this stuff. Yes, that's what I do. I let them sit for a long time, for a whole entire hour, and that gives me time to do the masa because I want to have them flavors stick to my meat like I'm sticking to glue on this channel. <laughs> all right, yes, it's going to be a lot of uh, cooking up in my kitchen today and just, you know, making them to perfection um i'm a perfectionist when it comes to this kind of stuff so um like i said there's boneless ham in here chopped up i had to chop all this up little by little and i have my beef in there as well so good so this is a good amount of filling for the amount that i'm doing for my first batch um you know vice versa for the masa as well um, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and throw all this stuff in here. And that is the garlic, um, the hojas. And as you see, the chef ones, love them. It's all mixed up, smushed good. And that little green stuff is just a little bit of the sofrito that was left in the bottom of this sofrito. Now, I use all kinds of sofrito. So to me, sofrito, sofrito, the best sofrito you can get is the one you make on your own. And one day I will do that too. I've done it too. And actually, I'll share this on my TikTok. I'll dig it up in my old YouTube channel, how I do my sofrito as well. All right. So, cappers, olives, de todo. De todo se mete, in the words of my mother. <laughs> All right, so. Machote, so much flavor. And we're just going to throw the leaves right in there. Just throw them in, and I will get back to that. I'm, I wanted to get flavor again, so we're just going to throw everything in there. And... Mm, smells so good oh my gosh just that uh 10x flavor cousin cilantro does the work 
but anyway you need all that garlic and all that good stuff in there too all right so i'm just digging it in there and now i am gonna shred all these leaves in there um so we're just remember we're just letting this sit for flavor for an hour your girl all right so that's it that's all she wrote and like i said i do half of this stuff again on my masa okay there you have it see you in a little bit in a little while <laughs> i got errands to run before i sit up in this kitchen <laughs> yep i need my little wine let's get it
Okay guys, so this is my first batch that I'm doing of my masa. So I'm gonna give you an up close. I have to take you off the tripod and I'm gonna show you close up. All right, so I'm still working with all this over here. So I'm gonna show you guys how it's and um these last two bananas are really really little so um they didn't have the bigger ones but that's okay because these are it's just harder to peel so when you do get these make sure they're big um so all right so we're gonna stop here and i'm going to show you what this looks like look at that la, 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 la. so that is just the beginning of the masa okay so, like I said, check out my uploads. I have so many uploads of pasteles. I've done so many different twists. And, um, like I said, I did something different today. But I'm not going to tell you until towards the end of this video. See if you catch on. But I do do a lot of different flavors. From my island to yours, like I said, this girl's very unique. Watch out. <laughs> okay, guys. So, checking on to this over here. Look at my delicious beef and um, boneless ham in here with all those great flavors with the 10x flavor cousin of the cilantro all those ingredients achote, all that good stuff and remember i'm adding all that into my masa but i do it as soon as i'm done with the whole masa that's when i get in there and i start massaging all those flavors in there as well but check it out so beautiful third batch and if you could only smell what i smell in this kitchen when you open up a fresh fresh banana i love bananas it smells so 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 good in here <clears throat> so i have a few more pieces left here two more denial there this that and then it's time to do my pastillas so good meat is done look at that your meal <laughs> to die for love this stuff it smells so good just a fresh fresh banana that's what you smell in here and i love when i do pasteles that smell of that green banana and all those batia and potatoes and stuff so good all right guys in a little bit that's it your girl i just gotta add in all the flavors over here inside my masa mix that up really good as i mentioned in the in the last little clip video that i did i got banana all over my phone <laughs> all right guys so let's continue to get this <laughs> give it a nice little pulse make sure everything is broken down and Okay guys, so it is your girl Belinda. I'm gonna call it a night. I did all the masa for now. This is just half of the pasteles that I'm doing, which is a lot. So I did all the masa and I did the jamón con beef. Okay, um, tomorrow I'm only doing beef. So this is jamón and beef and then tomorrow I'm just doing beef, okay? But take a look at that, y'all. Hey, que rico, that's how you do it anyway um so yeah so as i was telling you guys earlier the same ingredients i put in this 
I only exit out the olives that goes into the masa is the same thing that's in here. Okay, the cappers, the chote, the uh, smashed garlic, um, the leaves, the 10X cilantro of the cousins is in here. Everything's up in here, honey. So I'm gonna pour this baby into my masa overnight. Look how pretty. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mmm, I can smell those guineos. Smells so good. Anyway, so I'm gonna stick this all into my refrigerator so it can marinate so that way tomorrow I'm gonna have like extra, extra flavor in these pastelas. So, um, this will be all together. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have like a part one, two, and three because I'm gonna be on my grind. So, your girl, this is it. Good night.
second bounce.